Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day so far. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to find some solid off angles on the map Fracture. Now, to briefly preface this video, Fracture is a map that a lot of people dislike just because of how it is set up and how, how different, how unique it is from other maps. Um, basically, I like to think of, it, think of it as a massive circle and everything connects to everything just like every other map except it's a nice shape of a circle. So let's start in A guys, I'm going to show you some nice off angles you can start to play in different situations for A. So if you're a duelist or if you just want to play aggressive, these are two good, this is a good, these are a couple good spots you can consider. So this is not an off angle, but this is uh, going to be the alternative to the off angle. So this is something that a lot of people hold initially. You can either come out like this or kind of just hold kind of tighter. Uh, now the alternative to this, because this can be bad if all five of them start swinging or if they're just hard pushing, we can walk up before they push. So this can be good, for example, if they're either being yeah. slow or if you think they're going to rotate from B, right? Because they've already rotated a bunch from B and they're rotating every round. This can be really good. This can be a really good predictive maneuver, especially if you have someone sitting there yeah. baiting for you. Um, you can crouch or you can shift walk into this corner. You can either hold kind of like this or you can hold like this or you can hold really in the corner. Because, again, if someone's either baiting for you or you just do this before they rotate, this is going to be very unexpected. Most people are probably never going to clear this, um, and especially your rank, no offense, but even people in my rank don't really clear this, so uh, it's just a really strong spot, and you have to have a little bit of trigger discipline here. I would prefer playing closer to the corner personally for this one, just because I really want them yeah. to pass, um, and what's going to happen here is they all pass, you can just kill them all, right? If someone clears you, you have to kill them, but it's, it's not bad. The nice part about sitting up here, though, is that we can actually make it to dismiss yeah. here. If we kill people here, we, we can't dismiss back yeah. to safety. We're going to be kind of screwed. So you need to commit if you're in that corner. Um, but that's yeah. the this is the off angle right here. This is the first off angle for you guys. You can play it really however you want. I would recommend experimenting a little bit with that. Hey, guys, if you like my style of teaching and you want more, make sure to check out my Patreon in the link down below. You can find a couple of courses that I have that people really found effective, both the mentality course as well as a competitive fundamentals course are two of my best sellers. Make sure to find those and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Now, the next off angle is going to be, again, also a little bit aggressive for a site. So um, a lot of you might, whenever you're holding door, if you want to hold door, you might sit like this or you might come up here and just kind of look like this. This is a little bit passive and I don't really like playing like that. So I like to come up as a duelist right up next to this yellow caution tape, um, either on this side or on this side. And it's pretty easy to not make sure it doesn't open. And then basically what you're going to do is whenever you hear them, make sure that they're yeah. not running out the door. Because if they run out the door, this is the free kill. And then you can dismiss all the way back to right about here, which is going to make you safe. You come right here, make sure there's nobody drop. Uh, that's pretty easy. Now, what might happen is nobody's going to come out yeah. the door because it's pretty common for that not to happen. Most people will yeah. go main and just kind of avoid door. So once you hear like two or three people running past door, you're just going to swing, open it, and spray them down. Just kill like, try to kill at least two if there's a bunch, and then just dismiss back to right here again, and you're going to be completely safe. Um, and if you have a little bit of patience, you can hear like three yeah. or four pass, you can kill even more, right? So this is these are some really yeah. nice angles that I like a lot, and it's both good at defending door, but also peeking through, getting a kill, giving your team that initial advantage before they push into the site. Now, uh, I'm going to be talking about another off angle here. So let's say th 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 this is the typical angle you might hold into main. Just make sure you're not exposing yourself to yeah. both of these angles, obviously, because can that can be a problem. So you're going to be sitting farther back here. You can play like this or like this. These are angles. These are not off angles, but I'm just showing you the alternatives to the off angles. Now, the nice off angle that we have here is up here on site. So you can either hold like this or we can hold kind of over like this, but do be aware of sand, right? So you might want to come more toward the corner. This can be good if you're on Rana because you can just kind of dismiss back here. Um, it's not the greatest dismiss, but it is a possibility. Um, this is really good because again, how many times you come out like looking up here like this, you might actually do that. This is not that uncommon, but most of the time I'm going to be looking down here first and then I'll clear all this. And most people are probably not going to have, even if they are looking toward you, they're not going to have the perfect crosshair placement. So this is going to be very useful for you. I would highly recommend this spot, just trying it out. Now guys, this yeah. spot, this spot, and the, those spots over yeah. there that I showed you, these are going to be more useful if you, you've already tried playing aggressive as a duelist or you're just not a duelist. But whenever you try to play aggressive, it just doesn't work, right? So you're trying to yeah. peek up here, you're trying to go for these plays, and you've given it like one or two shots, and it's just really not worked. Um, you can give it more shots, right? Try to maybe change something up, like go door the next time, or ask a teammate to bait for you instead. Um, but if that's not working, that's where you come yeah. to these spots, because these are more passive. These are on-site, right? You don't want to always be playing on-site as a duelist, right? 
So those are my main um, concerns with that. Now for a dish, I'm not gonna, there's not really any crazy off angles. The typical way to play it is probably to just swing and then you can walk yeah. up on the left side like this. Walk, right, walk up. And if someone peeks, it's just a free kill and you can dismiss back. Now there is a corner I'm not a massive fan of, which is right here. I don't really like this corner because most everyone clears this, but you can play kind of an off angle from it if you want. But I just thought I'd kind of briefly mention that. Otherwise, just swing, look for a kill. If there's nobody, flank or a comeback, right? It's pretty simple to play drop. Um, and yeah, guys, so that's going to be pretty much all of A. There is also this railing up here we can play now. This is, again, pretty passive. It's it's off-site. It's not even on-site. So this is something I would play with a grain of salt. But let's go ahead and move over to B. So moving on to the B site, we have a few different options, especially for B main. Now, I guess I'm going to, again, be sh sh talking about very briefly what, what the uh, common things people do are. So that's either to just peek A main like or B main like this. Uh, this is what people very commonly do, and that's completely fine. But again, I'm trying to show you guys alternatives to these uh, strategies. So this is good occasionally, especially if you're feeling your aim. Like if you do this and it works, why not do it again, right? But if you do it and then you get one tapped or it just doesn't work, you don't get a kill. You want, might want to consider some other spots. And typically, you're not going to be acing every round. So even if you get a kill and you dismiss back, you need to know where to fall back to and where to position after that. So there's a few spots on site that we can play, and these are pretty universal. So one off angle that I really like is right here, anywhere in this kind of like green sort of patchy area here. Um, I think the farther in that you are is going to be the better. The uh, better. So now we don't want to give up canteen completely. So make sure you have a teammate or something or a turret or something watching that. But this is really good because the more that you're tucked in here, the less of the there. of the stairs you have to worry about, right? For example, if I'm here, I have to make sure that I'm placing my crosshair down a little bit more. But if I'm up here, then there. the stairs are there's less stairs, so I can just place my crosshair kind of like normal. Um, so I would typically be like this because I don't want to be all the way up against the wall because that's going to be what they're going to hard clear. So I want to be like this if they do hear, if they do hard clear anything at all. Um, typically, I will clear like this. Um, so that's that's probably how you want to clear when you're walking up. But this is really strong. I like this a lot. Again, mainly if you're either falling back to this site, this spot, or if you're just getting pushed a lot on B site and you need somewhere to defend from that's more passive or farther back. Now, the next spot, you guys might have seen me play this before. This is an extremely strong spot. And so you just kind of sh chill right here in the there. corner. Sometimes I even like to crouch. Um, the main downside with this spot is that people try to spam you. Um, they might actually hit you, especially if they're aiming for the corner. But other than that, I find that when even when people are spamming, they don't usually hit me. So this is a spot absolutely worth trying. And even if they do spam you and they know you play here, you can come around this side and go like this. This is extremely dirty and not going to be super expected. Um, this is going to grant you at least one free kill unless you miss. Don't play super close to this box because you will get spammed. Try to play far back in the corner to the side. I like the corner and then I like to play yeah. it around the left here. Um, so then basically what's going to happen is you're going to run up. They're going to be looking over yeah. that way or up, up there. You're probably not going to be looking directly at you. You can get a kill and then you can come up behind this box and flash and you can just you know make all kinds of plays. It's a really nice spot. It's underutilized and I think it's just really good. This spot's yeah. also good for like post plant sometimes uh, whenever you're defending the spike because a lot of people just kind of don't expect it. It's not the greatest, but yeah. So let's go ahead and move over toward Arcade now. Um, basically, there's not a whole lot on Arcade. I'm just gonna show you guys again the standard ways of playing this, just in case you didn't know. So peeking like this is really pretty common, pretty good. And then another common thing is to just swing like this, have your breach stun yeah. all this or flash it. And then once you realize there's nobody, you can start walking or running a little bit under. And then start walking here, get all the way over to here, and more than likely you're just going to be getting free kills. This is an extremely useful strat. This is actually not that common, there. but it's really, really good. It's very common, though, to peek like this. This is extremely common for duelists to do. You can even kind of come behind the box here. I notice not a lot of people do this. It's not really surprising, but uh, I would recommend trying this. You can kind of just, again, this is like waiting outside door. There. You're just kind of waiting. You hear them. They're running up. There. And then by the time they're coming uh, up here, you just... You, you just kind of timing them right and kill them unless they clear you then you have to kill them here uh, another possible thing we can also start up here and we can come down the rope as soon as the round starts quietly and we can just kind of chill behind the box or you can come over to the side here this is a nice sort of off angle that they're they're gonna be see, they're gonna see you the the nice part about it is though they're not gonna be placing their crosshair here more than likely i try to place my crosshair here but sometimes i even forget so they're gonna have to hit some kind of crazy flick to kill you uh, so just keep that in mind. That's why this spot is good. And then we can easily dismiss back to here pretty safely and we probably won't get spammed. So another way we can play from tower is to just kind of listen and we can jiggle. And then again, if we think they're running up here, then yeah. we can kind of jiggle, shoot them in the side of the head, which is really nice. Uh, 
Um, so these are the these are the main spots. Again, keep in mind that if you're peeking aggressive yeah. B main, there's nobody. You can yeah. easily flank. If you're peeking over here, you can either flank or go under. Yeah. I would prefer going under here, especially if they've been going B. I would prefer not yeah. going under from B main because if they're not B main, they're probably not arcade. They might be. Um, especially depending on your rank, people do all sorts of weird stuff, so don't always discount arcade. But people typically come A main and B main most on this map. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of this map. I don't hate it at all. I like it. So hopefully you guys find this a little bit insightful for defending and just finding some good off angles whenever you start to post plant on site and stuff like that. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.